What's up everybody, TaxProduction7 here, back with the Minecraft mod tutorial. Today's mod tutorial will be on the OptiFine mod, and what this mod does is allows you to tweak the video settings within Minecraft to make it run a lot smoother for you if you have any lag issues, um, or just completely change how Minecraft looks to your liking. So let me go ahead and hop my world here, and I will show you exactly how to use this mod. So if we go ahead and hit escape to come to the game menu and then go ahead and open up options, then video settings, you'll see we have far more um, options for the video settings. So if we go ahead and hop into details here, you can change the clouds. Um, so here's where it really comes into play on how you change how things render out in Minecraft. So I can have clouds as fancy and then trees as just normal, not fancy trees. Um, just having those on fast or I can have them on fancy as well So you can pretty much pick what you want to be on fancy and all that sort of stuff You can change the Sun and the moon off um, the depth in the fog you can change the grass um, And the rain and snow you can change turn that to fast or fancy and Then the stars you can again turn turn on or off then if we go and hop into animations, here's all the animations within Minecraft. Um, a big one that will help you reduce lag would be turning the particles off. Um, and if you really have a lot of lag, you might want to just turn off all the animations. I mean, it might make it'll make it look a little bit weird, but it'll definitely help reduce lag a lot. Then we have texture packs, and you can do this is pretty much an in-game texture pack changer so I have the default texture pack and what this mod will also do it'll also eliminate the need for um, any like MC patcher or any of that sort of stuff this will act as an MC patcher so I can go ahead and change it over to uh, Misa's texture pack and then just go ahead and hit done and then now we're on Misa's texture pack and you can also do the clouds you can turn on or off um, I have them on right now the fog start, you can change how far the fog will be and uh, where it starts. Then the quality, um, you can have clear water. That will require a lot of processing. So if you have lag, do not turn clear water on. Uh, better grass, that'll turn better grass on. So there'll be grass on the side of the blocks. I like how this one looks, so I'm going to keep that on. Um, and then connected textures. What this will do is say, like, you see the windows over here. If I turn it on, it will make it to where it'll be like one solid pane of glass. But... Um, since I do have a texture pack on right now, it'll use the normal Minecraft glass, which looks weird with this texture pack, so I won't turn that on. And then you have all the random mobs and then the better snow. What the better snow will do is if you turn that on, say underneath the tall grass, you'll see snow like underneath the tall grass instead of that being just a blank snow area. I don't know if that makes any sense, but then we have the smooth biome, so it'll be a smooth transition from biome to biome. It won't just be where you can see exactly where it ends. And then we have the performance. You can turn smooth FPS on. This will definitely help with um, a lot of the lag too. And then we have the other, which is fast uh, debug and the weather. You can turn the weather off and you can change the time of day to like day only, night only, or default, which is um, pretty much just, uh, just cycles through the days. And then you can change it to full screen. Of course, you can do that by hitting F11. So, um, yeah, so I don't want to take too long on showing you every single feature this mod adds, just pretty much showing you how to uh, reduce lag a little bit and all that sort of stuff. So this is what my Minecraft looks like now with the better grass and everything with the change texture pack. So, yeah, that is the OptiFine mod. So I now need to clear out my Minecraft jar. After I do that, I'll be back and I'll show you how to. Okay, so what you need to install this mod is some sort of archiving program, such as WinRAR, 7-Zip, or WinZip. All these archiving programs will work exactly the same way, so you can use whatever you prefer. I'll be using WinRAR in this tutorial. Then the only thing you're going to need to download is the OptiFine mod itself. Now, there are a few different versions of the OptiFine mod, and I'll go ahead and give you a link to this page in the description, which is where you'll download the mod from. Um, like I said, there are a few different versions. There's Standard, Smooth, Multicore, AA, and light and if you go ahead and read through all this you'll uh, find what might work better for you but I would suggest that everybody downloads just the standard version um, it's probably what will work best for you uh, if you don't have like a multi-core processor and all that sort of stuff so I would suggest everybody downloads a standard version of OptiFine and go ahead and click on download one and this will bring us over to an ad fly and it'll say please wait five seconds up in the top right hand corner if it loads here, what's it doing? 
Okay, here we go. Sorry about that. It'll say, please wait five seconds up in the top right-hand corner. After that five seconds up, a yellow button saying skip ad will appear. Go ahead and click on skip ad. And this will bring us over to the page to download Optifine. And it's going to be a download link in between two ads. Uh, you'll see these ads pop up here shortly. So yeah, the download link is in between the two ads. Make sure you don't click on the ads because that will just take you to a different page. So go ahead and click on the download link and it will automatically download the mod. So that is how to download Optifine. So when you're ready to install it, go ahead and come over to start. Type in percent app data percent. Just like this down here in the bottom left hand corner. Then go ahead and open up your roaming. Open your .minecraft. Open your bin. Left click your Minecraft jar, then right click it. Do open with and select whatever archiving program you're using. I'm using WinRAR, so I'm going to go ahead and open it with WinRAR. Now you're going to go, you can go ahead and you can go ahead and close your Minecraft bin because we're not going to need that open anymore. So once you have your Minecraft jar open, go ahead and open up Optifine and highlight all of these files and drag them into your Minecraft jar and hit OK. Go ahead and close Optifine. Now in your Minecraft jar, you should see a folder called MetaInf. If you do not see this folder, it's OK. You can go ahead and just skip this step, but if you do see it, what you want to do is delete it. So go ahead and left click it, then right click it. Select Delete Files, then hit Yes. And that will delete MetaInf. You want to make sure you're always deleting MetaInf when you're installing a mod to Minecraft. If you don't, it'll make Minecraft crash. So after you delete MetaInf, you go ahead and close your Minecraft jar. And that's it. You're done installing the mod. So I hope this video helped you guys out. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.